let us discuss about the types of radiations we are using in radiation therapy so the types of radiation is mainly classified into two groups that is the ionizing radiation and non ionizing radiation so let us see that non ionizing radiation it includes the radio waves the microwaves and the visible light waves this non ionizing radiation is not used in radiation therapy so we will move on to the next category ionizing radiation here we have one group is photon radiation in this we are using x rays and gamma rays to treat the cancer the another group is particle radiation in this category we have electrons protons neutrons carbon ions alpha particles and beta particles this will be used to treat the cancer so we'll see in detail about each type the first one is photon radiation this is the most common form of radiation therapy or radiation which is used in radiation therapy to treat the cancer so this is the same type of radiation that we are using in x ray machines this photon radiation it comes from a radioactive source such as cobalt or cesium or from a machine that is linac or linear accelerator so this photon radiation it go into the body or penetrate into the body to get into the cancer and pass through the cancer and then it exit the body the next is category is the particle radiation in that the first one is electron beams or particle beams so electron beams also produced by a linear accelerator electrons are the negatively charged parts of a atom they have the peculiarity of low energy level and they do not penetrate deeply into the body so this electron beams are used to uh, treat the cancers in skin as well as the tumors and lymph, no lymph nodes that are very close to the surface of the body so next one is proton beams proton beams are positively charged part of parts of atom they release their energy only after traveling a certain distance and they cause little damage to the tissues they pass through so here they are able to deliver more radiation to the cancer while they are doing less damage to the nearby normal tissues next is the neutron beams neutron beams they are also the particles particle of many atoms but the peculiarity is is that they don't have any charge neutron beam radiation can uh, help in some type uh, some uh, types of cancer where the other types of radiation therapy is not working also this neutron beams uh, they can damage the dna more than the photons and also they have more effect in the uh, more effects in the normal tissues and it will be severe these neutron beams are used for some cancers in the head neck and prostate and some certain inoperable tumors next category is the carbon ion radiation they are also called as heavy ion radiation because it uses a particle that is heavier than a proton or a neutron so this carbon ion is a part of a carbon atom also this carbon ion itself contains proton neutrons and electrons so they can do more damage to the target cell because they are heavier uh, and also they damage the cells comparing with the other types of radiation also they are used in treating the cancers uh, which are radio resistant that is the cancers they do not respond well to the radiation that is called a radio resistant cancers so carbon atoms or carbon ion radiation is used to treat the cancer cells or cancer if they are radio resistant then the next one is the alpha and beta particles the last type of particle radiation alpha and beta particles they are produced by some radioactive substances that can be injected swallowed or put into the body so this alpha and beta particles we are used to usually uh, using this 
type of particles for imaging test like in case of barium enema barium melando and but higher doses of this alpha beta particles can be helpful in treating the cancer also